So, ladies and gentlemen, what I have is subtracting polynomials. All right. So in subtracting polynomials, just like we did before, we can do the vertical or a horizontal method. All right. We have to make sure, though, we only combine like terms. That means they have the same variable factors. Now, my preferred method, ladies and gentlemen, to reduce mistakes would be to use the vertical method. And I'll kind of explain why. So what you can do, actually, I'm sorry. Not the vertical method. It is actually going to be distribute and add. But I'll show you guys that way. So the first way we can do is just do the vertical method. So again, like addition, the vertical method is going to be you're going to take one polynomial and you subtract the other polynomial. Now, this becomes a little bit difficult because it's not, diff it's not difficult, but it becomes difficult because students forget that you're subtracting all of these terms. All right? Because remember, so you have to say this out loud. 3x squared minus 7x squared. That's going to be a negative 4x squared. Then you have negative 5x minus x, which is a negative 6x. And then 4 minus a negative 2, which is going to be a double negative. So therefore, we're going to add it. It's going to be a positive 6. Huh? That's what I'm saying. That's what you got to, a lot of times what I think is helpful, Alex, is, well, yeah, changing it, which I'll go over next, but also putting this around parentheses. So it's always this term minus then the term inside the parentheses. OK? Now. Just like Alex said, sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to make mistakes. And subtraction and negatives are very common for students to make mistakes. So the other one is to distribute and add. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first write the first term, OK? So Dustin, when you write this down, you have 3x minus 5x plus 4. That's your first term. Now the next thing which you can do, Dustin, is you can distribute the negative sign. So you can apply the negative sign to every single term. And by doing that, we can now change this to an addition problem. right? Because every subtraction problem can be rewritten as an addition problem, right? Yes? Or every subtraction problem can be written as an addition problem? Yep. Right? So you distribute the negative sign. So now you have positive negative 7x squared minus x plus 2. So as you distribute, that means you change the sign of every single term. You can now rewrite it as an addition problem, which I think is easier for a lot of you. 3x squared plus negative 7x squared is negative 4x squared. Negative 5x plus a negative x, negative 6x. 4 plus 2 positive 6. Same answer? Same answer. Done and done.